Plenty are still recovering from Hurricane Helene in the southeast. People are already preparing for another hurricane to hit this week in Florida. Matt Wentz is tracking the storm for us this morning. I believe it's called Milton. Yeah, Danita, it's Milton, and it's developed over the weekend. Remember last week we were looking at thunderstorm complexes in the Gulf of Mexico, none of which looked to develop in anything. And what happened was we saw a thunderstorm complex develop, and it started to get tropical characteristics. It's over a warm bathwater in the Gulf of Mexico, and this thing got going, and boy, is it going big time right now. Here's the Yucatan Peninsula of uh, Mexico. Here's Texas, just for reference. Milton now a Category 2 as of the 5 o'clock advisory. Winds up to 100. This is a big storm. It's not as big as Helene in terms of size, but the strength of this could be equally as strong. So here's what we're expecting in terms of track. This is what makes Milton different. Normally, hurricanes are moving from east to west. This is not the case. The steering flow takes us into Florida from the west, which is an odd direction. It does not happen very often. As a Cat 3 hurricane, says the National Hurricane Center, center circulation expected to pass just south of the Tampa area. So the west coast of Florida, especially from Tampa down towards the south, high alert with this one. Wind starts sometime tomorrow evening into Wednesday. Landfall expected sometime later Wednesday. All of the central and southern half of Florida going to be impacted by this. You see future casts here taking it and brushing it to Yucatan Peninsula. Rainfall, they've had it over the course of the weekend in Florida, so flooding is going to be a big issue from this. As more rain comes in, you can see this is going to be a well-defined system with a well-defined eye, a powerful hurricane again coming in from the west as we're going into Tuesday, Wednesday. Rainfall and storm surge, the biggest issues. That water rise from Tampa Bay down towards Fort Myers eventually down towards even Miami and the key is going to get impacted by this rainfall. We're talking on the order of five to 15 inches of rain flooding and more issues for a state that just got hit with Helene. Something will be on top of this week. Danita. Yeah, you hate to say that more is headed their way. All right, Matt, thank you.